Indonesia rocks. At least this is a message organizers of the first ever Rock and Land Festival wanted to convey to their fellow citizens and the world. Coming less than a month after the bombings of the Marriott and Ritz Carlton hotels in Jakarta, the festival ran under the banner Rock Brings Indonesia Together. Everybody came, nobody canceled. Um, we're very happy. Um, they asked all the different things re related to the bombing, but they all came. Including hard rock heavyweight Mr. Big, who had no security concerns. It's good to kind of uh, come in to a country at that time because that's when they need a little boost of self-confidence. And since they're our friends here, we're glad to come here. Hey, could it be that we have been this way before? Over 80,000 people attended the three-day event, making it one of the largest rock festivals in Asia. It is not the first time that Indonesia launched a music festival in the wake of tragedy. In early 2005, the Java Jazz Festival was held for the first time just a few months after the tsunami, which killed more than 100,000 people in Indonesia alone. It's a big, resilient co country. Business consultant James Castle knows what he's talking about. Living in Indonesia since 1977, he has survived two bombings, both at the Marriott Hotel in 2003 and most recently in July 2009. It's a blow that Indonesia will quickly recover from, and uh, Indonesia is one of the high growth stories in Asia. It will continue to be. We, the, uh, the very popular and successful government has just been re-elected by a large majority, uh, and uh, this will go on for another five years of this government. So I think it's, uh, the prospects remain very, very good. Driven by strong domestic demand and a wealth in natural resources, economic growth is continuing at a rate of 3 to 4 percent. Re-elected President Cecilio Bambang Yudhoyono is focusing his second term on the challenges facing the country, including tackling poverty, fighting corruption and improving the infrastructure. No place on earth is immune from terrorism, be it London, uh, Mumbai, or, or Madrid, New York, or Washington, D.C., and certainly not Jakarta or Bali. So these things uh, happen, but uh, what counts is how we bounce back after these attacks. And I think we have uh, shown uh, that we have uh, uh, the political will and, and also the, uh, the social uh, capital uh, to withstand these things. Uh, uh, none, none of these bombs will, will ever change uh, uh, our way of life. Uh, and in fact, our democracy, uh, people's belief in democracy and freedom uh, uh, has become even stronger. This change of mindset has eroded any public support for terrorist activity. All Indonesians, right after that bomb, were condemning this attack, the, the terrorist. Uh, something that was absent if we look back in 2002 or 2005. Because the international context at that time was a war in Afghanistan, war in Iraq, and now the, the context of the global world is, is very different today. People were seeing, like, you know, uh, these terrorists were not sending any message, but violence. And despite the bombings, the country hopes to attract 7 million tourists this year up from 6.3 million in 2008, a potential boon to the country's national airline, which launched an aggressive expansion plan called Quantum Leap. We will more than double our aircraft, uh, 216. Domestic traffic will be more than doubled in the type of cities. International will be tripled. And then we have this uh, growth on revenue side, which will more tripled in, by 2014. Surely bullish expectations in a year that brought the world to the brink of a depression. Neither the economic crisis nor terrorism seem to deter Indonesia, a country poised to embrace democracy, Islam and modernity all at once. We have come uh, quite a long way. We have been able to do something that is very rare, which is to marry democracy with stability. You know, if you look at countries undergoing democratic transitions, uh, not many uh, can marry that democratic transition with stability, but we have achieved that point. And I can say safely that we have achieved a point of no return. 
And this is the true message the world wants to hear. Thank you, Indonesia. Thank you, Jakarta. You guys are the best.